My dear friend, from my family to your family, I wish you a very, very happy Easter. Let us pray. I pray that I have a spiritual experience of Easter through God rising up in every single thought. I will know the God best is ahead of me individually with the spring renewal of life I have a spiritual experience of expanded positive living through the risen Christ I am gifted with the God vision to see the good in all and I am thankful in Jesus name Amen. In Matthew 28, 1 through 7, the Bible tells us, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat upon it. His appearance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said, Come, see the place where he lay. And then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Positive Christianity celebrates the life, the teachings, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We do not dwell on people's desires to inflict cruel punishment, which led to his death. Humans often try to crucify the divine because so often we do not understand. We have tried to entomb God's splendor since the beginning of time and try as we may, we never succeed for long. I have thought about this for some time and I've tried to come to some conclusion as to why humankind has such a desire to destroy its one hope. Darkness will always try to destroy a light because if it did not, darkness would cease to exist. The low is suspicious of the high, and the human is suspicious of the divine. Humankind's fear has always been, if I let God totally express through me, where will I be? Well, the truth is, we do not cease to exist. When God comes through us, we come into our own. A turned off lamp doesn't cease to exist, but it sits stagnant, waiting to fulfill its potential. When it is illuminated, it becomes what it was meant to be. When we are brave enough to crucify the lower error thoughts within us, we do not find death, but we find new life. We must crucify human thoughts of death, sickness, lack, disharmony, and limitation. We do not do this when we find ourselves in a self-imposed tomb that we have built around our lives by thought. Just at that point when the biggest stone is rolled into place over what our physical eyes looks like is the only way out, we call upon Christ. And there is a great earthquake, a quake in the earthly. And an angel, a divine idea, 
of God rolls back the blockage of the God-given good in our lives. The divine idea will overpower and sit on the blockage. Nothing can overcome or overpower the divine. Divine ideas are perfection. Their appearance is like light and their essence is white as snow. Always pure and perfect for us and for everyone. Divine ideas meet us at the point of our need. The guards the small negative thoughts in us that keep defending themselves tell us to worry, tell us to be afraid, tell us to doubt, tell us to be in dismay. But faced with God's perfect truth, they themselves have great fear. And they tremble and become like dead men. Darkness always ceases to be when light comes. God will speak inside of you. God will say, do not be afraid. You are no longer in the tomb. You have risen. Come see where the limitation used to be in manifestation. It's no longer there. By your example, you will automatically share with others in the world who are locked in tombs of lack and limitation. Others will look to you because you are resurrected from the walking dead and there's a new joyous splendor shining forth from in you daily you will walk towards galilee where jesus has gone before us galilee spiritually symbolizes a high consciousness of life and now on this wonderful easter i ask you to join me in prayer again I pray this Easter that I have a personal transformation in my life, that I have a resurrection at the point of my need. No matter how great the challenge, God is greater. God has a perfect idea for me and my need. God is paving the way before me. God is busy bringing good to me from endless wellsprings that flow directly from God through me. God is my perfect health. God is my perfect prosperity. God is my answer. I will experience a resurrection in my life and the circumstances of my life. I quit doubting and I Stop living within the tomb of doubting mind and allow Christ to come through. These things I decree on this Easter in prayer in the nature of the resurrected Jesus Christ whom we follow. Amen.